is Rox Revenhart of the Rox Revenhart channel preparing to do a van life no build van build of the Crimson Avenger take a look at her there's a cat photo bombing my shot good job kitty so this is the Crimson Avenger a Kia Sedona 2006 model that I had purchased for $500 yes $500 with uh, 180,000 miles on it she was in great condition. The original owner was an elderly man who unfortunately had passed away, but he uh, left it to his son to sell, who wanted $2,000 for it. And unfortunately, I was able to talk him down to $500. Lucky for me, he was in a hurry to sell and take off. Thank you for selling me your car for $500. That was very awesome of you. So that being said, this is the Crimson Avenger. It's a family minivan with stow and go seating of which I have removed two of the center seats to open up the center space and then I have the back seats I can do whatever I want for passengers I have them fold down for uh, camping stealth camping I've you know, fold them down sorry for passengers I have them up so that being said I wanted to showcase today a no build van build mainly focused on the bedding and uh, any other things I can come up with along the way. Stay tuned. Let's get to it. This is the Kia Sedona, otherwise known as the Crimson Avenger build attempt one. I have two designs for the bedding that I wanna showcase and I'm gonna show the first version. So as you can see, the first van tour of this is pretty basic. I have cut templates for blocking out the, blocking out the windows on both sides. I have not done the back window yet as I have a tarp that I just kind of throw over it. A, uh, I don't know, like a band banister thing, like a blanket or curtain, whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, I have the rear seats in the upright position right now for this build. This is bed build version one. And I put up my makeshift curtain with curtain rod. I just happened to get a hold of a curtain rod that fit perfectly snug in the plastic here you just kind of move easy comes in and out at will slides i just took a uh, hot glue to an old uh, piece of fabric i had for halloween or whatever i was using it for and i just took hot glue and glued it all the way down i am not someone who's good at sewing it's just not in my nature i can do a lot of other creative things but sewing is not one of them now these right here are like a memory foam uh sound protector thing for my days as a musician in fact they just kind of came in a with a computer i'd bought this is how they shipped it to me so it kind of came in the box with that and i didn't want to throw them away i kind of had immediately an idea of what i wanted to do with them and so the idea originally and hopefully i can still pull it off is that i wanted to move them to stick in the window instead of the cardboard or whatnot so not only to provide some kind of sound dampening, but also block the light and all that fun stuff and give some privacy. Obviously, it's too small for the, the main windows, so I'm going to either have to get a hold of more of it or whatnot and cut it to size. What van tour is complete without the cockpit, so I might as well show off my co cockpit. I have myself a baby Grogu passenger for the Crimson Avenger. Say hi. You know, <laughs> he keeps me company on those long rides. So, as I showed him in one of my previous videos, I have an Echo Power uh, battery bank uh, pow power station. You know, just like other familiar brands that are popular on Van Life. This one I got for one hundred dollars. It was cheap on the marketplace. It was originally like a four hundred dollar thing. I bought it for one hundred. I negotiated it for one hundred dollars. So. I'm pretty good at that it this is an awesome piece of equipment for the crimson avenger as you just plug it into the the power port there on the car run it off the alternator to recharge it it can have solar power of which i do not have any panels for yet which i would of course install on the roof like most people but what i can do is it's just like the popular brand of the jackery you just kind of hold down the button turn it on it shows you how many bars of power it has left, your wattage for your AC and your DC, how much you're using, 
you turn on DC, you turn on AC, of which I actually have a really cool thing I'll show you in a second. You can kind of see it below the seat. I have a light globe that kind of changes colors and that's how you see in most of my videos my backdrop changing. It's currently underneath the console. I, I usually put it in the back right about here behind the curtain or in front of the curtain but behind the seat so it illuminates the van a bunch of different colors. I power it through the use of my Echo power station. Now you can charge your laptop, you can charge pretty much anything you need. It's got a lot of juice to her. Um, I mainly use it for laptop. I have powered like vacuums and stuff off of it. I don't recommend it, but it does work uh, to vacuum it out and stuff. I, I try not to use such high power things, but I have even plugged a guitar amp into it, which I highly don't recommend because it drains it fast, but it does work in those pinch situations believe it or not now it does draw a lot of power on my on my amp but thankfully i can tone down the amp that's kind of cool so grogu thank you for keeping me company in the cockpit of the crimson avenger forgive me it's a little dirty so like i said with my first build i keeping it kind of simple it's a no build band build right so i'm building it out with something I've shown in my previous video the milk crates. Let me show you how I plan on using those for this build design. So here's the three milk crates. So I just did a quick vacuum on the floor. I didn't take too time, too much time to build it up. I just wanted to kind of showcase this. I did not want to waste my day cleaning her up. So it's that simple. They are almost the perfect height for the back seat, which is why I leave the seat up. Uh, they're very supportive because they're four-sided design. They're crisscross, airflowy type design. I like it. And let me show you what I'm going to do with it. When you space out three of them, unfortunately, I wish I could just squeeze in a fourth one right here. Unfortunately, the dimensions do not fit. You could put them closer together, but then when you lay it out, they'll be kind of overhang, which... That does kind of work. I might try both. I actually kind of like that. That way I have some space on each side that I can use for extra storage. Um, it, I guess it just depends on whether or not the bedding will sink or dip. If it does, then I'll just slide one down. Slide the other one down like so in order to create a stable platform. Now you're probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about. I do not want to put a piece of wood over it but I could. Now these crates are great for storage, but they're also good for support. Now in this design, I stole the mattress off of my children's little crib bed thing. I think it's a, it's like a twin size memory foam mattress. Fits perfectly on the back seat and on the crates. Now it does have a little bit of overhang because I pushed it all the way back. Now what I do with this actually is I pull it forward, pull it forward a little so it does fit square on, on that and it will have a little bit of space over there and I have a solution for that. That's where I store my pillows. Tuck a bunch of pillows right there and it balances out pretty well, especially if you're parked on a hill or whatnot. Let me show you what it looks like. So now as you can see, I made the bed. It's really cool. It's got a pillow, blanket, and it's kind of what I was talking about. This time I used a blanket to kind of show you. I just did a quick version, tucked it into the back door. When I close it, it will stay and remain. Kind of cool. That's kind of the idea. Let me show you me lying in, in the bed. So, this is me sitting on the bed, and my, my glasses are all fogged up. Let me just take those off. So me sitting on the bed, I have a little bit of headroom. I can always just lean back and get a little bit more. So I'm on the bed, as you can see, it has enough room for me to lie down comfortably. I can sit here pretty comfortably. I got plenty of room to kind of stretch my head. I'm kind of short, I'm 5'9", so I can't stretch out so much with this build. I mean, I can put my feet here. An armrest, 
the window if I have to, if I'm comfortable that way. But the one thing I won't be able to do is completely, you know, like stretch out. But it does have some roll around room and it does have some comfort. I'm perfectly comfortable like this. It's very comfortable. Uh, let me show you. Now that bedding is good for one. It's not good for two. And you know, life can get kind of lonely sometimes. So I try to think ahead on a bigger bed. Perhaps to share with somebody who wants to watch Netflix and chill with me in the Crimson Avenger, so to speak. <laughs> So that being said, I'm going to show you bed design number two. This one was cool. This one's good for like my kind of personalized shorter trips. Uh, if I'm just kind of hanging out by myself going on a, like a road trip or something like that. This one works pretty well. It keeps me comfortable. It gives me, and this is why I like this design better, is it gives me a ton of floor space. And that's floor space can be used for a cooler. It can use which I eventually like to be a refrigerator. I can use it for my guitar amp and guitars. So I can sit here and jam out, which is another cool feature. I'll show you how I get shore power in a moment, but um, towards the end of the video. But for now, this is like bed build number one and I love its design. So in conclusion to this video, that is bed design number one. I have a second bed design that I'm gonna do a second video for right now. So I'm gonna tear this down and then begin video number two. So thank you for watching. If you've been watching, this is the Crimson Avenger Van Life edition of the Rocks Revan Heart channel. Anything I post under the Crimson Avenger is my van life experience. So that playlist, Crimson Avenger, is everything van life that I have experienced so far from the builds to the adventures. So stay tuned.